Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the box of boxes has just arrived. Insert Jaws theme music here. Check back in a second. So basically, we're going to go ahead and get the baby unboxed, and we're going to see what all the fuss is about. This is my first shark helmet. I've never had a shark helmet prior to this one. Um, so I'm actually very excited to see what we get here. Push this out of the way. Let's see what we got. So fresh out of the box. First thing I'm noticing here is this is a very, very premium helmet bag. This feels just, oh my gosh, right away. This just feels like thousands of quality above my Icon Alliance uh, dark helmet, um, of course, which is no comparison, obviously. Um, let me go ahead and get this out of the bag. I'll check back in a second. So your first question is, which Shark helmet is this? This is going to be the Shark Speed R Series 2, which is basically going to be right below the Race R Pro. Uh, and this does come in a carbon version as well. Um, this is supposedly rated more for upright naked, um, but it, they are getting great reviews from um, aggressive sport bike riders like myself. You guys know I have the CBR 1000 R, and you can clearly see from this position right here that this will definitely hold up in a three quarters tuck or even a full tuck position as well. Um, again, and other things that I'm noticing is the quality right away. Um, part of the reason I decided to go with a shark helmet um, is because a lot of people that have previously worn a rise and shoeys are swearing by these things left and right. I'm not one that typically goes by word of mouth, but we know that Arai and Shuri um, and Shui are going to be the, you know, amongst the top of the line helmets that you can actually get um, with Shark being right there as well, neck and neck computing with them. Um, I did order this in an extra large according to Shark's size chart. Um, that's going to fit 24 inches. My head is exactly 24 inches. Um, and this is also going to be more of an intermediate oval. So if you wear extra large in Shuis, um, then you should also be able to fit an extra large um, in Shark helmets as well. Um, and again, things that I'm, I'm noticing right away is the quality, the, the cheek pads in here, they feel so plush. Um, I can tell just by feeling this helmet that right away, it's going to be much quieter than your entry level, you know, alliances. I mean, and again, that's no comparison again with people talking about the Arise and Shuey's, um, you know, being beat out by shark helmets in um, some instances. The price point on this particular helmet um, is actually listed at 450 bucks. I actually found this on motorcycler.com for a steal. I'm not going to tell you how much I got it for, but I will encourage you to go check it out. Um, this one does have the drop down sun visor. And right away again, there's a whole bunch of quality here that you can just feel right off the back. I mean, the way this is driving down, it's just so smooth. It's not real jerky and rigidy, like it's you know being snagged on cheap plastic or something like that. Um, this helmet isn't very light. It's not very heavy either. I'm thinking, I can't remember, but I think it's like right at 3.6 pounds, which is going to be about average. Um, DOT and ECE rated um, for safety, and they also got uh, four out of five on the sharp testing um you have the shark fin vents up top here the panted shark fin which you gotta love that they're called shark and they have little details like the shark fin vent um, you have a nice chin vent here this thing is huge the vent up top is massive um airflow rating for this were about four out of five um noise level again was rated very very low and i can again i can i can feel just by the quality um, on the inside of this helmet that's going to be extremely quiet. Um, it does come with a chin curtain. Um, one other thing that I noticed as well is that it also comes with the pin lock insert. I mean, that's, that's an add on option. I mean, we're getting value right there. We can definitely see where the money's at. Um, we're getting value from the chin curtain coming with it and as well as the pin lock visor as well. You guys know that this stuff is, they can be relatively cheap add-ons, but it's always a nuisance having to go back and buy it after the helmet. This is just a basic unboxing and review. Um, I'll come back with a full review after I've had a chance to actually write or test it out um, and all that good stuff. So I'll check back with you guys later. Um, get back to me with any questions. Um, I'll be happy to answer. Let me know if you have any video requests. And of course, as always, like, subscribe, and share. Love you guys. Check you later.